In this film, we are going to make a model out of this drawing. And it's in Swedish. And the thing that's, that is standing down here, that means that it has to be ground. It needs to be grinded afterwards, after the heat treatment. It needs to be hardened and annealed until it reaches 56 RC with a depth of at least 0.2 millimeters. Well, I wish you luck. And if you enjoy this drawing, and if you learn something, please subscribe and try to spread it further. Thank Let's get started with the drawing T10006. And I'll start off by creating a sketch. And we'll pick the front plane. And here, I can't do this with a revolve, I need to use extruded boss base. So I need to create some kind of outline to use. And I will pick a slot. I could pick a center point straight slot since I want to have Origo in the middle of the part. Thus, I pick this one and I will drag it out horizontally and thus I have a slot. And I will create a second one as well. And I will pick the same endpoint but this time the radio. radius should be smaller. And all of a sudden I have the general outline. And then I will just need to add the dimensions. From here on it should be 120. Great. And over here it should be 30. And in the middle it shall just be 10. Now that my sketch is complete I shall exit the sketch. And here comes a nifty little here comes a nifty tip. I will go into features. I will pick extruded boss base, but I will not simply use blind since this will create, well, a part in one direction, so to say. And I want it be, the, I wanted to have it expanding in both directions. And thus, I will open up this uh, this list and I will pick mid plane. And the distance shall be 15. So I pick 15 and then I press OK. And all of a sudden. I have the general outline of the part. Now I need to add the holes. And the way I'm going to go about doing this is with the hole wizard. And I'm going to pick this plane. And I can't see it at the moment. However, this is not a big problem. And then I will add a line. We'll go from Morigo heading outwards. And I will make it into a construction line. And I will pick this one and pressing the other one while holding control depressed. I have both of the points. And finally, I pick the line as well while keep holding control. And I get the possibility to pick symmetric. And I will do this. Great. And now when I move about, both of these points are symmetric around this line. And then I will use Origo once again. I will put it in so that it becomes horizontal. All that remains now is the distance in between. And I can pick this one with smart dimension. And this should be 60. And once again, I do not add the, um, the tolerance at this time. I pick the nominal measurement. And then I head into type. And at this time, I don't know if this, this is confers to one of the standard holes. So I will just simply go into legacy hole. And in this list, I will pick counterboard, since this hole is counterboard. The diameter should be 5.5. Thus, it would be big enough for an M5 screw. The depth shall be picked by the end condition. The counterboard diameter should be 10. And the counterboard depth should be just be 5.4 millimeters. But this is not good enough. Because we can't really put a screw in here, nor can we make an, this kind of machining. So, what do we need to do? We, make, we need to make a through hole. I will head into a sketch. I will pick sketch once again. And at this time, I will use convert entities. And I will pick the outer one, 
there and there. Now I have both of them. I will exit the sketch. I will press features, extrude a cut. And I shall once again say it should be up to next. And there you go. Our part is finished. But do keep in mind that it should be probably be a lot better to make the hole first before machining this slot. Since machining, when the slot is already made, could add quite a lot of stress into this part. It's not really supported and the tolerance of the hole could be quite bad. So we don't want to do that. We'll make the slot lastly. And now we need to add the description and such things and the material. We start off with the material. Right click, edit material. And this is an analoid steel. And this time we have C35E. And then we'll pick apply. And once again we'll head into file, properties, and the description should be added. This is Stuchbor. And the finish, well, it should be blackened. The weight should be added. We connect this one with mass. And we add G for grabs. And finally, we'll insert the material. Also connecting it once again. And there we go. Our part is finished. Don't forget to save this part.